President Obama this morning gives a speech on his vision for the Middle East. The speech will be at the Diplomatic Nerve Center in Washington, and the president is expected to speak broadly about his policy for the region. Joining us live to talk more about the president's upcoming speech is LaSalle University Professor Ed Terzansky. Professor, what are you expecting to hear from the president this morning? Lana, I think the president will try to uh, steer those governments and people who are engaged in revolution to a better place by offering American financial and technical assistance. He'll he'll speak uh, in some broad terms about the appeal of democracy and the like. He may even touch on the Israeli-Palestinian situation. At least that's the teaser that's being put out. But that's going to be tough because his lead negotiator, George Mitchell, just resigned. And uh, the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is in the United States. He's also going to be speaking to the Congress on that issue. There's some speculation that the president wanted to get out in front of Netanyahu, and and that's why he's chosen uh, today and Foggy Bottom as the time and place of the speech. Now, Professor, will the bin Laden raid play into his vision of the Middle East and the way that it is received in that region? John, I'd be very surprised, only because if you look at all these revolutions, no one's running around with posters of bin Laden. Uh, he had largely been discredited because of uh, his own misconduct toward other Arabs and the way in which he was driven out of western Anbar by the Marines uh, toward the end of the Bush administration. Uh, he, he was yesterday's news in many respects. I'd be very surprised, and, and I think it would be ill-advised for the president to spend any time talking about him. The administration has announced sanctions against Syria's president, Assad. This is a real turnaround, is it not? Lana, the administration's policies in the Middle East are nothing but turnaround. In fact, they're, they are inconsistent on the point of being incoherent. We were with Mubarak, then he had to go, he was a tyrant, then we weren't quite sure. Assad a month ago was a reformer, now we're imposing sanctions against them. Uh, We're in Libya, but we're not. Uh, There are a lot of conflicting signals that are being sent, and it's not helpful to our interests. Our allies are especially concerned because they don't think that the administration is, is going to stick with them through tough times that we're, we're trying to lead from behind, so to speak, and uh, are, are looking to see where the sway of public anger is at any given moment. That's not a good place to be. 